Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu to some of you in peace to the rest of you. Uh, this is Black Heart Sign of Black and again asking you to hit that share button first. Then only uh, afterwards should you hit the like or the subscribe button uh, because the message is more important than the messenger. This message is about misconceptions that we got in the manosphere, men and women alike. But the misconceptions are being addressed uh, for the wrong reasons. The first misconception is that um, that nice guys are being properly defined all the time. And the fact is that what is a nice guy is not always properly defined. Women are right about that. That's not the case. Uh, being properly defined as a nice guy involves more than just uh, not fitting certain negative stereotypes. This is very true. You can avoid all of these stereotypes and you can still be a jerk. Uh, when women point this out, they're right and they have the right to point this out and they should not be uh, shamed or embarrassed for pointing these things out. But by the same token, something else needs to be understood as well and that is that uh, while the point is valid, Ladies, when you make this point, you have to make the point for the correct reasons. And the correct reason to make the point is not to justify uh, still chasing after bad dudes and ignorant niggas. You can't use the fact that some guys who are not stereotypical are still mean as hell to justify that you still only want some bad dudes that are mean as hell and, and ignorant niggas. You give one man a shot that doesn't have tats and gold and some swagger like what you're looking for and a thug past or a street past or street nigger, uh, as home, street niggas homeboys, street niggas as homeboys. You can't turn around and say that, okay, every guy that's like that now is lame and they don't know how to treat you and stick around. And the reason I say this is because the fact remains that when you get a guy that's not very attached to you and he's not very compassionate but he's also not a, neg a negative negative stereotype the fact is that that less the lesser commitment that you find in him is still not required by you of the guys that are idness intentionally dysfunctional negative stereotypes every non idness may not be a nice guy true valid point but don't get it twisted. You are still brainwashed as a whole. If you are not brainwashed, then you are an individual that is not brainwashed. But the whole, the bulk is brainwashed. And I used to say that, you know, most black men are brainwashed to want lighter skinned women. I used to say this. Then I began to realize that that was very passe. I also began to realize that uh, the older black men got, the more they outgrew this if they were brainwashed at all at a young age. I also began to realize that this was not the case with sisters. They were not always outgrowing this brainwashing. Sisters in the Western nations are brainwashed to want itness. And that's it. And that's why they may complain. You see, if you are non itness but you're also a bit of a jerk and you're mean, they don't let you get away with that as much as they would a swaggering itness. So... Admit to the point, brothers. These sisters are right about that. Every non idness is not nice. Just understand why they may be raising this point. It's the same thing as when I'm dealing with these Arabs about their use of the term abd to describe black people, meaning slave. And I tell them, stop doing that, you terrorists, you camel rapists. Oh, if you can't say that, well, you can't call us slaves. But we're all slaves of God and Bilal was black. You see, all these things they say are true statements. We're all slaves of God and Bilal was black. But they're not saying these true statements for the correct reasons. They're saying it to shut me up from telling them the truth that they don't want to hear, which is that these little confused, rat, tragic, desert, mulatto, rat, bastard, terrorist, not even terrorist, but they're brainwashed. And they're a few steps away from becoming outright enemies to black people as a whole, not in pockets. They don't want me to come out and tell them, you got tricked. You let the oppressor convince you to side with him against the victims, and now you're mad because I'm not going along with it. You're dumb. They don't want to hear it. That's why they will say the right thing, but for the wrong reasons. You understand? That's what we're dealing with here, brothers. You ain't going to always be right because you're human. 
But you have to understand that when women raise a valid point, but they seem to be trying to deflect the valid point you're raising, then that's why they raised the valid point. So then you admit this point is valid. Now the purpose for saying this point was exactly what? Because I also raised a valid point you want to deflect. It's like when I tell them you don't call us slaves. And they want, to, they want to deflect that point. You don't side with the oppressor either against the victim. They don't want to hear that point. They're trying to deflect. Brothers, you're going to have to understand. You're going to have to realize the importance of, um, of saying the right thing for the right reasons and the importance of those in a debate with you saying the right thing for the right reasons. Don't let these uh, don't let ladies get you twisted up and, and and don't let these ladies get you to understand falsely that somehow you had more control over relationships with women than what you actually had. Because if that were the case, men wouldn't be as stressed out as they are. We're not allowed to have this kind of control that would actually be best for us to have over these women. We there was a time in certain cultures where this happened and women were not always happy. And there were times they were not happy for very good reasons. But now we're in doubt as to how many times they were unhappy for good reasons, because I mean, we have to be in doubt about this nowadays. We have to have doubts about it. And why do we have to feel these doubts about it? Well, we have to feel these doubts about it largely because, see, we can't we have to feel doubts about it because now we're coming to understand the choices that women will make. We're coming to understand Oftentimes, the women are not going to make wise choices in men. They're going to make choices um, that satisfy their loins. And for some reason, their loins aren't wise. They don't even listen to wisdom. As a matter of fact, there's something in their loins that goes against wisdom. And I can't understand that myself, but we know it's there because we're witnessing it. So listen to valid points and admit they're valid. But always check the motive. To, and do the same for yourself, to be fair. But always check the motive of the one saying it. Hope this has been a benefit. Assalamu alaikum. Black horse sign a blackout.